Hey guys, what is up? Protection from the PI podcast here. Uh, so as you, sure you know, uh, if you guys read the community notes, um, uh, if you haven't, no worries. Um, there's going to be some big changes coming to the channel. It's still going to be called the same and everything. Um, Ian has started a new podcast called The Around the Ball HQ. So go check that out. Um, but he won't be as as around as often um as before so i am so i will be having i'll still be here um for sure um starting to get back into things again football season's coming around the corner so there'll be a lot more videos a lot more podcasts coming soon uh so i'm for right now there'll be a lot of guest hosts coming on the show met with podcasting we met a lot of different podcasters a lot of different people's different teams who's fans of different teams so that's been really awesome and i loved like all these people, uh, shout out to NSP. They've been one of the most, the friendliest, the best podcasters we know. Um, and eventually we'll have them on the show again. But as of right now, we will have guests on the podcast for now. And I have uh, found a new co-host. Um, it might take a second for him to get into things. Um, but he will also provide a new insight on college football. I don't know college football as much, uh, to be honest. I watched a lot more last year than ever before. Um, but um, the new co-host, he, will, uh, he knows a lot about college football. So he'll provide a lot of that. Um, but we still be mainly talking about NFL. But I thought it would be nice, the new co-host. Uh, he knows a lot about college football. So a little more insight into college football if anyone has any college football questions. I know some of you guys watch college football. I'll be watching a lot more this year. I did enjoy it last year. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, I did find a new co-host. Um, so new videos, new podcasts. We'll start to get scheduled again. We'll do reaction videos either by myself or with the new co-host. But uh, as well, um, a lot of guest hosts right now for the next few podcasts. Um, or even the new co-host in the next podcast. So, thank you guys again. Just wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, it's been a minute since we've done a podcast. I think it hasn't been too, too long. I think it's been a couple months. But uh, I know you got, we went live during the draft. But I'm excited to see Caleb. As of recording this, we saw Michael Penix in action. So, I want to talk about that a little bit. We saw Michael Penix in action. He got me excited more so than Ritter ever did. Um, he knew where to go with the ball when... The, when he wanted to check downs, he knew where they were. He knew where the curls were. He knew where the out routes were. He threw a beauty of a ball on the right sideline, um, which was the highlight of the play. He only played a quarter and a half, but I did like what I see out of Michael Penix. He's, he probably isn't going to start for the next couple of years, so it's good that he gets reps now in preseason at least. Um, and I, I hope he plays a little more in the second and third preseason game, which I think he will. But, yeah, it was interesting. Um, one standout from that game was Zach Harrison, um, in my mind. I know Kevin King, he did, had a really good game, too. He had an interception, almost two interceptions that game. He played really well. But I wanted to talk about Zach Harrison. Just watching that film, he was an absolute monster. Getting past the all O-linemen, like providing pressure from the edge, from the inside, wherever he played. Mostly he was playing from the edge, and he still got pressure. He got double team one play, and uh, he still provided enough pressure to make the throw off from the quarterback. So that was really awesome. Uh, we did see Caleb Williams today. He looked like the number one overall pick. I mean, uh, the Bills had their starters out there too, uh, some of their starters, not all of them, uh, on defense. And Caleb Williams, he threw an amazing ball on the run, which was really awesome to see. He took, he ran for a first down. He did everything right. Um, Jaden Daniels as well got a start as well. Um, he threw a beautiful deep ball to Deami Brown on the right sideline. Oh man, that was that was, that was a really good ball from Jaden Daniels. And then he led a touchdown drive and capped it off with a rushing touchdown for himself. So that was awesome to see. Uh, as a recording, um, JJ McCarthy will get some playing time in a little bit here. Um, so I'm excited to see that. Um, Going to be interesting to see how much he does play. Because with these rookie quarterbacks, I get why you don't play him as much in preseason. Uh, but you need to see something. You need to get him accustomed to the play of the NFL and stuff like that, obviously. And then I think 
uh, notable rookies wise, Xavier Wordy, Chiefs, Jaguars play tonight. So we'll see Xavier Wordy maybe for a few snaps. Uh, I know Chiefs and Jaguars will play the starters for a little bit, so that'd be cool to see. Um, but as a yeah, as as now, Caleb Williams um, looking good. Jaden Daniels, Michael Penix. Still have to see JJ McCarthy. We will maybe see Bo Nix tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a little update on the channel and like talk about a little bit of the preseason stuff. But uh, we will be back for sure, um, whether with a new co-host or guest guest host or whatnot. Um, yeah, so hope you guys are excited. Football season is going to be awesome. I'm determined to get out videos for you guys, and we're going to have a lot of fun on these new podcasts, especially you guys are going to love the new co-host. So uh, thank you guys again. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.